important that you let any man that you deal with know that you will absolutely call the police on him. I don't care if you're dating him, if he's your brother, your cousin, a friend. You don't need to explicitly say it, but you need to give off that vibe. Because if at any point he decides that you need to smell what the rock is cooking, he knows what's up. You're going to jail, bucko. <laughs> You know, I told men a long time ago that, especially let me keep it in the realm of black men, when you're a black man in America, you face with a lot of issues, especially dealing with women um, in our community, especially. And we only talk about the women who would do this, not all sisters in, in, the, in the black American community. No, not all. But you have some of them that's think is, is funny or so quick to try to call the police on you, even when you didn't do anything that you know, would say, yeah, they need to call the police on you. I want, to, I want you to see this video and let's have this, this conversation because black men, we face a different issue in America in relation to the police. Let's roll it. As a woman, I think it's so important that you let any man that you deal with know that you will absolutely call the police on him. I don't care if you're dating him, if he's your brother, your cousin, a friend, you don't need to explicitly say it, but you need to give off that vibe because if at any point he decides that you need to smell what the rock is cooking, he knows what's up. You're going to jail, bucko. Over the years, I've covered stories on our news platform, African Diaspora News Channel, um, where we've had black men that lost their lives at the hand of the police, and they didn't do nothing wrong, literally did not do nothing. They didn't commit no crime. Men have lost their life for just having conversation with their girlfriend. The girlfriend called the police on them. I've seen black men threaten to, I'm going to call the police on you because I know they'll, they'll kill you. Like, that's type of thing. Listen, a lot of people know that the police is an extreme threat to black men. If a woman is even hinting or threatening you with the police, that is the moment that you leave. Let me tell you why. Calling the police on a black man is calling in your unaliving. Because we don't know what kind of police we're going to get. You understand what I'm saying? So she's so quick to pick up the phone to call the police because a lot of times men get the police called on them for, for arguing. What about when them, when you're trying to leave as a man and they're trying to block you in front of the door from leaving and you say, hey, get out the way. I'm trying to leave. You're trying to leave and they call the police on you for that too. I'm not talking about men who abuse women and all that. No, 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 not those kind of guys. Because you could think, well, why you have an issue with them calling the police on those kind of guys? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. Because that type in that video will call the police on you for any little thing. Trust me. If she's making a video saying, let them know you're going to call the police on them. So basically you want to use the police as a weapon to harm, take the freedom away, or take the life away of a black man. 